Hello? Can you hear me now? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Hey, this is Greg A. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Is it is it pronounced Erica? It is. Okay, I didn't want to uh I didn't want to not have it. I thought that, but I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> no, you won't be the first. You won't be the last. I'm sure every time we send emails to people like that, their their first inclination is it's not really real, it's not really true, but uh you you are uh the winner of the PJ trailer. So, uh first off, thank no. you. Thank you very yeah. much for all the support. Yes, no doubt. We are so excited. So I guess uh, was that stuff that you had purchased? Was that I saw you guys? You guys have tagged us in some stuff on Instagram before, so we've seen all of that. So is that yeah. uh, is uh, Caleb is uh, is his name correct? Yes, actually it was we you because you sent me the number and I looked at the order because the first order I made was Caleb's stuff, second order was my stuff, and it was Caleb's order that <laughs> wanted. <laughs> that's that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So you yes. uh, you guys are from Oregon, correct? Or Oregon? I, I, I'm uh, I'm gonna pronounce that wrong and for for forever, but <laughs> it's Oregon. Okay, awesome. It yes. looks. So what do you guys? Uh, it looks like you guys get into some some wheeling stuff. We do. We have we have an 08, 67. We have a second gen that we just picked up a standard cab, a white one. We're kind of like the opposite of you. We have everything white. We got a Peterbilt. We have a 362. That we're working on. That's awesome. Uh gonna go like go on man everybody says you gotta go to Bucky's don't you dare deny me experiencing this on our our trip our whole entire motto of this trip is we're not eating any place that we've eaten before we're not going any place we're, we're 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 new people new experiences and you almost just took away the first ever Bucky's <laughs> new big giffen <laughs> all right so guys we are road tripping across the United States here and apparently, apparently Bucky's is a place that uh, you have to go. You have to see for yourself. So right here, I have a lot of gas pumps. Like up two rows of gas pumps. This is apparently a little civilization called Bucky's, and we're gonna go in here and experience it because we're almost to our destination, and uh, we needed some place to stop. And well, here we are. Let's do this. What's the matter? You can't find a parking space? Taking it all in. Woo! It's, it's a lot of gas. It's also a lot of gas. What? Is that really a thing? Every single one of these pumps has diesel at it? Yeah. They took they took don't block the diesel pump to a whole new level here. They really did. Look at all these I mean, blocking diesel pumps. I feel like they automatically get a pretty high rating if they didn't block the diesel pump. This guy, yeah, he's 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 doing it, doing it. Nice. Oh, that guy's doing it way better. Look at all these people. Are you gonna park anytime this year? Look at that guy. What? Wow, oh, check that thing out. Oh, all right. Well, we just met two of you guys, Kate and Cutter, fellow Dodge brethren. Nice to uh, nice to meet you, boys. Michael, tell us about your official Bucky's review. <laughs> I'm laughing. Man, boosies. Boosies. Yeah, we ain't we ain't we ain't calling Bucky's no. We're calling boosies. Boosies don't have no monster. They didn't have sour strips. I found a blow pop. This is the second place in Texas that has not had Michael's pink monsters. And as soon as I saw that, I was like. 
you know, some things are just not bigger in Texas, like the uh, Boosie's refrigeration section selection yeah. of monsters. Yeah, I, 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 it's not like a bad review. Like, I think it's a cool, you should go there, but. I thought it was pretty awesome. I just didn't have my stuff, you know? Oh, man. Michael is really uh, on the hunt for some sour strips because they don't sell them anywhere except for Texas. But anyway, my review, <laughs> my review. As soon as I, as soon as I put on my my safety belt here, because thirty west. I don't know the directions right there. You just took a wrong turn, didn't you? No, you don't. It's one way. We're good. All right, guys. So <laughs> my my Boosie's review is. Uh, I thought it was awesome. They had a outdoor section. I mean, I've never seen so many. Uh, different things and options besides pink monsters in one place. There's probably more people in that joint than uh, like a normal grocery store. Uh, are we really going this direction? I'm gonna have to put my sunglasses on here. Cue the sunglasses. But anyway, guys, welcome back to another video. What an intro here. Um, so we're traveling. Uh, we're picking up some things. We're doing some stuff. We're seeing some people. Uh, we're kind of all over the place right now. We are headed to. Uh, Fort Worth, Texas, um, and oh, where are, we going? are you trying to kill me? Moguls, man. Man, where's your sunglasses, dude? There's mo <laughs> where's your sunglasses? I left them at Bosie's. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, we're going to pick up some stuff. For hey, road close, road close. Make sure you hang a left. <laughs> hang, hang a Larry. Oh my gosh. Maybe this is. I should have. I should have waited to start the intro. But um, anyway. We do have a winner for the PJ trailer. I just kind of want to let you guys in on that as the sun's in my face. Uh, we wanted to do a Q&A uh, for this video. If you don't follow my Instagram, make sure you guys go do that. Make sure you go follow Silent Mike's Instagram. You know, trying to get those get those followers up for him. You know, uh, but anyway, we asked a QA. and a We're gonna do a quick Q&A while we're traveling. Uh, we've been on the road for quite a while. Uh, and we kind of just like these Q&As. They're a little bit, uh, you know, we get to know you guys a little bit better. You guys get to know us a little bit better. Um, and it just kills some time. So uh, the winner of the PJ trailer is Erica from, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss say it, Oregon or Oregon. Oregon. What is it? Oregon. 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 Uh, so her family is super excited. Uh, Caleb and their son Monty, they are into uh, some Dodge projects. They are into some Jeep rock crawling projects. Uh, so they are the official, well, Erica is the official winner of the PJ trailer giveaway. Um, she had ordered a bunch of stuff multiple times for Caleb, um, herself, and, and their little their little son. Um, so huge congratulations to them. Super pumped for them. Just want to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone who supports Wrenchworks um, and uh, participates in all the giveaway stuff. We will have more to come, more toolboxes, more trailers, more other stuff. Um, so just a huge, huge thank you. It is an awesome way to uh, support the channel, support me and me and Michelle here. Um, so thank you guys very much. So huge congratulations to Erica again, and uh, we'll have another giveaway here pretty, pretty soon. So, uh, but anyway, that's the gist of what is happening here on this uh, on this adventure out west. Uh, we're in Texas, and uh, yeah. What else? How's your blow pop? Is that any good? That's good. Okay, you got a, you got a good review on that one. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna get out my phone, and we're gonna answer some questions, and hopefully Michael's not gonna get us lost. And then stay tuned for the next couple videos because we are picking up a new vehicle. And we are also picking up a surprise that I have not hinted at or told anyone about. It is just gonna be a boom surprise in your face and you guys will see that in the next video. So make sure you guys stay subscribed. Now, what I wanna get into before the questions is, I am really hoping this video is not like just bouncing all over the road. We really picked that epic uh, road to start this on. But um, it's a direction for a new uh, I'm sorry, it's a direction for an old truck uh, that's been on the channel for a while. We're talking about the 08 here. Now, uh, the 08 has been the OG. It's been on the channel for forever. It used to be the tow rig. Uh, tow rig got replaced. We are now in the dually, which is dedicated tow rig now. Um, and, you know, we just got done with the engine makeover. It needed some love in the uh, in the engine department. 
apartment. We just added a bunch of power. Um, but we're kind of trying to find some new things to do, some new directions, uh, new projects. And we started going down a little bit of a rabbit hole, if you will, with a project that revolved kind of around a overland, off-road, um, you know, some people are going to roll their eyes and get crazy when you say, like, the end of the world vehicle, your bug out vehicle, all of that sort of stuff. We're not really getting into that, and, uh, you know, it's really just a more of a off-road style build. You know, different bumpers, uh, some different equipment that gets put on that vehicle to kind of do that sort of thing. You know, we've got a lot of performance builds. Um, so I'm thinking about going down that road with the 08 you know, kind of redoing it um, in that sort of sense with uh, some better off-road capabilities um, and that kind of sort of thing. So let me know if that excites you guys, if you guys would like to see that style of build, just trying to uh, change it up. We were thinking about actually getting a different truck for that project. So why don't you leave down below in the comments if you would rather see us do a like an early, like a 94 or a 95 extended cab long bed, 12 valve, second gen, five speed truck for that, we're gonna do, we would do the same thing. Off-road, off overland, bumpers, uh, you know, some winch, like just, just that style of build. Uh, would you rather see it with the 08 or would you rather see it with a new project? I'm really leaning more towards the 08 uh, just because it doesn't require us to go out and get another Dodge Cummins truck. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What kind of vehicle do we have here? This thing looks pretty nice. Michael, what is this thing? Pontiac, baby. Greg. <clears throat> what? This hotel room is a lot nicer than the old one. <laughs> you know, we, uh, we did a little upgrade on from the last hotel, the La Quinta. <laughs> La Quinta wasn't treating us so good. La Quintas usually aren't too terrible, but that one? Yeah, that one was a little... All right, so uh, basically, uh, Michael drove the last leg, so we got here extremely late. Uh, we almost died four times, so uh, we're doing this Q&A now in the, in the hotel. My whole plan was to do it on the road, but um, no, honestly, the road just got so bumpy, we hit traffic, so uh, we decided just to kind of wrap this up here. Uh, you know, in the in the hotel room, the day before we got our big day, we got to be up early. So this this might be a uh, a rapid fire. I'm trying to pull up the questions now. All right, let's pull up the questions now. Are you ready for the 2020 race season? Yes. No. Or well, technically, we're not really. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> no, no, no. We're ready. So we're ready. Vehicles are not quite <laughs> vehicles are not quite ready yet, but we're we are we are getting there. Uh, do you miss me like I miss you? That's from Jesse. <laughs> I feel oh, like it's definitely. a song. When is Allie gonna have a Milwaukee caught gun and snap on screwdrivers for the fam channel? You know, we we definitely need to upgrade Allie's uh, Allie's uh, DIY tools. Oh, she needs a uh, she needs a new air hose. A new air hose. That was for Christmas. Well, Christmas, or, you know, next Christmas. Christmas, come early. <laughs> I feel like I'm, uh, my lighting here is, is, is a subpar. Oh, there we go. Now you can get us both right in here. You thought about running glass watermelon lenses instead of plastic on the peat. Um, yeah, the thought has crossed my mind. Uh, it was just whatever was easy. Um, and I kind of needed them in a little bit of hurry. Like me and Mark were a little bit on a time crunch to paint them. So I just got what was readily available and easy. Um, but that's, uh, that's not out of the question. What are your thoughts and opinions on a Duramax? Michael, what do you do? Are you just trying to... Looks like I'm watching Peanuts on the Looks like you're watching a whole lot of nuts there, brother. Um, I don't have anything wrong with the Duramax. I think all of the newer trucks are pretty much <laughs> equal in my opinion. Like, I, uh, I, don't, I don't have anything against them. Um, they're a little bit harder to work on. Uh, just time. Everything's a nut and bolt, but uh, just, a little bit easy, just a little bit easier to work on a Cummins. But Michael over here has owned a Duramax. I, I, I love... Actually, you've owned a couple Duramaxes. I love Chevys. That's, I'm a Chevy guy. I just turn your mic on. I love Chevrolets. I don't care for a Duramax that is older. 
there is a ton, a ton, a ton of just bolts, hardware, maintenance. It just doesn't Injectors. Seem be, it just doesn't seem to be like the perfect choice, but, uh, but I love their interiors. I love the way they drive. I love their IFS. I love everything about them. What would you say year-wise? Anything above year this year-wise Ford, Chevy, or Dodge is good? 15, 16? I don't uh, have, I mean, somewhere in there for me. 14 for me, I would 14, say. 14, 15. Anything 14, kind of... 14, 15 and above Ford, Chevy, or Dodge, uh, no no issues with much better than the younger years. The Obviously, Ford older years, uh, Duramax older years, just uh bunch of problems but they all have their problems how hot is too hot for egt's when pulling after doing a second gen swap and fourth gen cummins i feel like egt question that could think uh 1300 to, for an extended period of time i tried to say under 12 yeah under 12 mm -hmm. yeah, egt's just yeah. what, do you, what do you know anyway what uh. <laughs> Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, we love giving each other crap. That's what we do all day long. That's how we. That's how we. This relationship survives. <laughs> uh, so twelve to thirteen hundred, man. Aluminum melts at what twelve and change. Uh, Your pistons are made out of aluminum. How uh, how long of a period? Mm. It's the least. <laughs> I was gonna say like thirty seconds, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I try to make a tow rig run at like seven to nine hundred, like while towing. Like just depends how hot the tune-up is in it. But seven to nine hundred would be nice. What are the plans for the four fifty? Tow a lot. Tow wheels, tires. I'd like to put a leveling kit on. Ooh, this is this, this is a, this is a cool one. What is your favorite tool in the toolbox? Wow, flush cuts for him. Sawzall. <laughs> My favorite tool has got to be the Milwaukee ratchets. Those are just like a super solid addition uh, to any toolbox. They are they get grabbed uh, a ton. Let's see, did you go to college or trade school? I went to Wyotech for automotive and then I did their business degree. Um, uh, but really, hands-on experience trumps all in that. Uh, another toolbox giveaway for sure. That's uh, probably a little sneak peek. That's probably what's coming next. Uh, one of the new, latest, I feel like this lighting really, you know, is really not helping my face out. Not that much will. Uh, one of the latest snap-on uh, toolboxes is one we have picked out. Uh, it's a limited edition uh, color uh, and trim. It is really, really cool. Uh, sneak peek there. Um, are you leaving the chassis on the Pro Street truck bare metal or powder coating? It's funny. You just asked me this the other day. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I told Michael that we were going to spray paint it uh, because this year we just don't have time to do a ton of really cool stuff. Uh, it needs to be on the track. It needs to be racing. That's number one priority. Um, <clears throat> if you spray paint it, if you spray paint it now just to keep it from rusting, the, that would probably be the easiest thing to get off to powder coat it later. So mm -hmm. If that helps. Yeah, and I don't know if I would technically clear coat it with cans. I don't know. Uh, you know, race vehicles get worked on, they get welded on. Um, while I want to keep it as nice as possible, black spray paint can be touched up easy if we need to make uh, some serious adjustments that require a welder. Um, why is everything you own black? Well, technically not everything I own is black. There's two silver first gens. Um, but I just like black. Black's my favorite color. There's a couple questions in here about uh, the dually because that's what we're driving and kind of like an update on how the turbo's doing, how the single turbo's doing, um, how it's towing. Honestly, all positive, all good things. We'll do a full review of it, but I really, really like the new setup a lot. Um, it's performing really, really well, especially with that weight. Uh, the fleece exhaust brake, in my opinion, hands down, I just yes get it now order if you have any questions about the fleece exhaust brake it is seriously awesome it will put you through the windshield at higher rpm like it is a loud yeah. rowdy exhaust brake hands down <clears throat> my only complaint would be the truck needs a muffler for long trips it does have a muffler 
What? The dually has it needs a muffler. two mufflers. <laughs> two mufflers. <laughs> when are you and Michael racing the duallys? <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to have a 450, 450 and uh, Dually uh, off here real, real soon. Pretty pointless, though. I mean, you know it's, you know it's going to happen. I mean, You're going to get wrecked. <laughs> maybe, if, maybe if we hook them together, I'll uh, argue something different, but... Uh, You're going to get wrecked. <laughs> is it worth fixing a rusted truck or start with something rust-free? Uh, I always try and start as rust free as possible. Uh, like if it's, are we talking frame? Are we talking body? If the frame is solid and it's just normal Dodge rust in the bedsides, in the cab corners, like is the whole truck rusted out? Like if it is frame and axle rusty and body rusty, no. Uh, if it's just some body work here and there, it really just comes down to who you have to fix the rust. Uh, if you have a good source, a good painter, then I wouldn't have a problem with it, but just know paint and body work is hard to find good work. It's not cheap. Uh, so just know that going in. I always prefer to try and, uh, and it's really just like, I'm more mechanical, so I'd rather fix mechanical. I'd rather replace an engine or a transmission for on a completely rust-free truck than do body work, but uh, really just kind of who you know um, and how you get that how you get that taken care of. You agree with that? Rust is the cheapest weight reduction for race cars. <laughs> Gosh. Will you ever do a Cletus's car in Cardis? That, that is the plan. As soon as we can get some of our bigger projects pulled off, we'll be anywhere and everywhere. We want to do a lot of traveling this, uh, this spring and summertime for sure. <clears throat> what are your next wheels for the 08? Well, that comes into, that comes into if we're going to do the, do the, let's just, I don't want to call it an off-road build, but if we want to call it an off-road build, we will be changing the wheels and tires to something uh, in more of that, that category. All right, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up this quick video, just giving you guys an update, letting you guys know about the winner of the trailer. Again, thank you guys very much. Uh, and let us know what you think about the 08 turning into uh, a different chapter, uh, possibly an off-road style. But that is going to do it. Stay tuned for the next video or two while we are traveling, picking stuff up, doing some stuff. Uh, and we will see you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye. Hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you're not already. See you tomorrow. It's pretty quick, huh? All right, see. You. Bye. All right, what are you what are you doing? Why are you still watching? You're still here. See. You. All right, this is the last one. Bye.